I've said it before, and if you know me, this is going to be an exhausting little tidbit. Minecraft is skew. It's the first resource pack to completely overhaul the game's audio, which is true. There have been several attempts, but a lot of them have either been uh, incomplete, or they were stock sound effects, or even Mojang. They did some stuff kind of like this with like the Star Wars pack, but those sounds were taken from Star Wars. It doesn't count in my opinion. We're just gonna play Minecraft Askew. I'm gonna give some stories, and we're gonna have a good time. If we don't have a good time, something bad's gonna happen. Seed Minecraft Askew 117 or Seed Geriatric Accumulation. I like Askew 117. Orange. I like geriatric accumulation more, so I'm gonna go with geriatric accumulation. Oh, we have a a sand. I didn't particularly want a sand. Well, there's a feature right there. We got yellow skies for certain biomes. Whenever I see like a desert in a game or in like a movie, I I, I feel hot. I feel hot as if I'm there, and I I don't like it. Okay, it'll be okay. My discovery is just around the corner. That's a fun thing to talk about. There are technically subtitle files for every sound that can play in the game. In regular Minecraft, the music has a an optional subtitle thing, but if you have subtitles on, you just you won't see anything like that. I really wanted to. Oh, there's a temple there. Oh, maybe being here isn't such a bad idea. I really wanted it to to say like now playing uh, Christoph Pikes and then like the song name but can't do that because it, it's it goes based on sound event which is a collection of sounds that get randomly chosen so like when we uh when we punch the sand there's like four or, or three uh different punching sound effects and it just picks a random one if you hate to listen to people fumble over their words and talk about something they're, that they're really excited about, this is not the stream for you. Because <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about shit and being relatively self-congratulatory. Look at that. We got a little blue blue area right here. Ah, feels cooling, relaxing. But we have things to do. Oh wait, I can't even do this. I don't have, I don't have a pickaxe. I can't even engage with this. And there's another one over there, what the fuck? You should find a village. Brilliant. Another fun thing in Askew is that all the all the villagers are are, are people, which was very fun. Uh, special shout outs to Six Foot Blue for for letting that happen. Because I did not know how to code that shit. Special shout outs to a friend of mine for making the moo sounds. They did an excellent job. It fills my heart with joy every time I slap cow to death. I get to hear my friend. Oh, and um, my friend Gabe for doing, who's who's in the chat with us. <laughs> uh, 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 who did the, the villager sounds. So, hell yeah. And there's Chamel. That's me. Sometimes a high enough pitch villager sound will happen and it sounds like my voice and it feels weird. Yeah, same with the, uh, the zombies. The zombies are me. So, whenever there's a baby zombie, I get pissed off because I, I hear myself in it. Eddie, soldier. But they're pitched down enough that it's normally fine. Yeah. The, uh, the, the reason they go, ooh, instead of, uh, oh, what the fuck? Instead of, hmm, is because they, you know, they're, they look like people. So the only voice clip that we ever hear from Steve Minecraft is the, ooh. So instead of using hmm as their, like, language of choice, they use ooh as their, as, uh, you know, the, how they speak, which is very, very stupid, but I, I thought it was fun. Monsters can't spawn in here, right? A bat can. Alright, already? Hell yeah! Horse armor. I don't want that. But, I, I know I'll take bones. We might want a doggy later. Oh, we got some iron. Excellent, yes! We're so much better than every other Minecrafter. I don't really want armor trims right now. I'll, I'll take I'll take one. You know what? There's no, no harm in taking two. Kill the pressure plate. The bat is dangerously close. Oh shit! Can they? Can I don't think bats can can trigger pressure plates. So no diamonds, but uh. How do I get out? How do I get out? I didn't think about that. Oh, there's sand. There's sand. Oh yeah. Here's the plan. By the way, I didn't I didn't say this. Um. So. There is a way to convert uh, Java Worlds to Bedrock, and right now, contentious point, 
of a discussion with the SKU is that I have a full working version of a SKU for Bedrock um, that I won't put out because I want to be able to put it out for everyone to enjoy, just not just you know PC and and uh, and mobile users. So after this stream, maybe we'll just do it this stream. We're gonna convert this world to Bedrock, and we'll just play with uh, with the Askew Bedrock Edition and show off all the all the cool features that are in it right now. Because there's there's quite a few features that uh, aren't in the Java Edition. There's also quite a few features in the Java Edition that don't exist in the Bedrock Edition. But like I said, we'll we'll we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. I'm liking kind of kind of a, a lot now. I, it's probably just because I'm loading more chunks. Twenty nine chunks? Are you crazy? I don't think that actually takes away any of my full damage. Oh, we got an apple. Inferno's Bane, which is fire protection. All the uh, all the enchantments are renamed because it's a skew. You 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 understand the gimmick by now, certainly. I would hope so. Oh shit, it's turning night. So uh, one of the the most obvious stupid things that I did with the skew is the aspect ratio. Every single texture pack is a a power of two for the resolution. You know, standard Minecraft is 16 by 16. Um, they'll go up to 32, 32, 64, 64. Uh, I've seen like 256 by 256, and those are all like smart and the computer, it understands that. It it, 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 it knows what that means. So, uh, since I wanted to make a skew fundamentally stupid, it's all 14 by 14 instead of smart things. So that means, uh, let, let me turn off mitmap so you see what that does. Or turn on mitmap, I mean. So look, look at this fucking iron ingot and look at the, the bush. And the, I guess the sand is already kind of, uh, oh, it's, it's turning scary times. But you can see, like, oh, what? This one's normal. I guess cactus is normal. But you can see it's all blurry and fucked up. So you have to turn, you have to turn mitmaps off. Which I think has driven a couple people away. But like I said, I don't know what the function of mitmaps are outside of making a skew blurry. I'm pretty sure they put it in specifically to piss me off. Got a sword. Got a, a quartz sword. Badass. Diamond! Hell yeah. Nice sword. Very green. Uh, we have real rabbit that can think and cares about you. My girlfriend Marissa. She she contributed quite a few item textures and uh, told me to figure out what to do with them afterwards. <laughs> Which I think has resulted in in some, some good things. Her cat is also uh, the voice of the askew cat. And so is uh, Bonk, who's in here. But she's having a nap, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna disturb her. I'll put up a picture of all the uh, the voice actors for the animals, uh, and, and you'll get to see all the all the dogs and the bird, uh, also owned by Marissa. I don't have dogs, so all the dog sounds are Marissa's dogs. The bird sounds are also Marissa's dogs. We get another song. I want to make it very clear: despite me overhauling the entire game, and uh, and making all the textures and all that shit over again and redoing all the music. I still suck balls at this game. I'm still probably one of the worst players you'll ever see. Oh, trees! <laughs> Whenever I start a world, I will get on, I will make a house, and then I will never, ever play again. But, oh well. That's the that's the experience of most people, it seems. People talk about the, uh, the two-week uh, Minecraft phase, which I understand. But I, I did. I had. I had a couple more weeks. What is everyone's least favorite biome? Uh, I've got. I've got some opinions, but I'd like to hear. I'd like to hear some different ones. I heard someone say spruce is their least favorite biome, or like tigers and shit. That's my absolute favorite. I fucking love spruce. It is my favorite. Like, it's my favorite. Mostly because it just. It. I. I. I don't know if it's accurate, but I think um, tigers and and like general spruciness those places are cold and i like cold i don't i don't like uh savannah i'm sorry i like how uh how it looks kind of but i don't like mo okay for me it's mostly that it's mostly the temperature thing that i just don't like hot places and i live in florida so you know hot places and me they're, they're, they meet often and I've, I've had enough of them no crafting tables? Did was there was there one in a 
Oh, nether wastes. Hmm. I, if we're counting nether biomes, I probably dislike the basalt deltas more than the savannah. I super love the like the hint that they're totally radioactive. <laughs> I think that's I think that's such a, a fun like thing that isn't really talked about. It's just in there in the in the background ambience, the 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 clicking of the radiation. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been excited to see a basalt delta. Uh, I will go there for hot tourist destination, and then I will promptly leave because it's just not that fun to be around. In Bedrock Edition, the spawn conditions for slimes are just so fucked. There's no chance of you having a good time in a basalt delta. Please don't be sand. <gasps> There's a tree. That's fucking sad. Oh yeah, uh, back on the on the topic of the the graphics being totally uh, fucked, everything being 14 by 14. That also extends to all the mobs. I don't think they're exactly 14 by 14. Like their aspect ratios might not match up, but they are all specifically made to be in weird graphical aspect ratios. Uh, so every every single model that you see in Minecraft is skew is a custom model. So this sheep, uh, that horse most likely. Almost every single model in Minecraft Askew is a custom model to get it to to fit with the aspect ratio. So let's see. So look at the uh, the the legs. They they have three pixels instead of four. How uh, how normal cows and other creatures would look. We haven't fought any any mobs yet because I've been specifically avoiding them, but. We'll see him. We'll see him later. If you've seen the uh, the music video that the the video that has all the uh, all the music played with some gameplay in the background, I started out not having keep inventory, and that was like a a, a storyline in one of the one of the the songs too. And I just gave up because I'm like this shit is annoying, and I have to keep up with like the uh, the continuity with with all that stuff so i just i didn't do it anymore i gave up oh damn we could make a portal right here hmm i think this is a bad idea oh wait shoot hold on oh wait no wait we're gonna we're gonna pause because it's single player and we're allowed to pause you looking at my ass? Better not be. I don't have the full chicken anymore because uh, my cat ripped it apart, but I have the head, which means you can go. I want a rubber chicken kazoo. I also have a kazoo in here. Ouch. But that's for it's for something unrelated. Actually, I wonder if there's a kazoo sound in a skew. I feel like that's something I would do. Uh, there's a vuvuzela in a skew for the horns. I do like mangrove wood. I started out not liking it. When, when, when Mangrove came out, well, that's the thing, I started making a skew on version 1.16, maybe? Uh, so when, when all the, uh, 16 or 17, I think it might have been 17, but uh, I, I, no, it was 16. I started making it 1.16. I didn't tell anyone about it. I was, I was being very, very secretive, very quiet about it. Oh, there's doggies. Uh, uh, doggy breeds. Oh wait, shoot! Let's get let's get a fucking dog. Hell yeah! All right, we got a doggy. Started working on a skew in in secret, in quiet. Oh, I didn't tell anyone. Uh, you know what? Let me give you the the tail. Let me give you the tail. So, uh, when I get into things, I get very into them. I I I have to do them, or I will explode, or something like that. So when I was in like middle school. I saw a a web cartoon called Ed's World. It was it was a show primarily by by one dude, and he would just animate uh, him and his friends going on wacky adventures. So I was like, "Whoa, I'm gonna fucking do that!" And I did. Uh, I in middle school and up to high school, I made three like ten minute long uh, episodes of that show, and. That show didn't do very well. <laughs> I posted on YouTube, and in high school, uh, you know, I would talk about it a lot to my friends because, you know, my friends were the people who were in the show. 
and then they would they would tell their friends who didn't know about it, and then those friends would tell more people, and at some point things got bad. Uh, a trigger warning for. It's not that bad, but it just skip to a timestamp if I leave this in the video. Uh, there, there was there was a lot of not fun stuff, just the like textbook bullying, I would call it. Uh, there was one time that I went into uh, a class that I had, and they had drawn like the characters of the show hanging themselves and put it on a note and given it to me, which you know, it's not really a fun thing. So I started working on something uh, around when COVID hit. To, uh, to to prove all the naysayers wrong by making something really good, and I it just didn't it just didn't happen, which which sucks. Uh, so I, I I deleted everything. I got rid of uh, all that. So there's a bunch of stuff that is probably lost media because I don't think anyone's archived that. But that's I mean I have it, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share it really. Uh, and so. Uh, I was, it was like maybe a week after that, I was, uh, driving my, my girlfriend to work, and, you know, we, we were, we were joking, we were joshing about, and she said, just offhandedly, <laughs> what if for, for April Fool's Day, Mojang just changed the entire game inside out? They changed every aspect of it, and, uh, completely fucked it up, and everyone hated it, but then some people wanted to keep playing the fucked up version forever. And I was like, ha, that's kind of silly. And I got home, and I was like... <laughs> and I started doing it. And so, now here we are. And it's it's been released. It's been like two years, I think, since I started it. Which is a long time to be doing to be doing this. Probably too long to be doing this. But, uh, you know, that's, that's how it is. That's how it is. It was very fun to, uh, to make, though. I had a lot of fun making. There's a lot of parts I didn't enjoy making, uh, but, but for the most part, it, it, it's been a, a, a fun, a fun project. We got some pumpkin fucking pie. So, shows you how good it is. Oh, I love this song. Oh, this is, this is probably my second favorite song, maybe. This is uh, Machine Translation. Which one is your favorite? My absolute favorite song in a skew is Legacy. And no, it's not the one that's popular. I thought that for sure that was the one that people would enjoy the most. But well, okay. But people like the, the fight songs more, which makes sense because they're more energetic. You can put that in a playlist and you don't have to, you don't have to tolerate it because it, it, there's no part that's like boring where, you know, Minecraft music, it's, it's meant to be a little boring. Uh, Askew music makes it a little less boring, I think. Uh, not to say that boring is bad, because it's supposed to be, you know, relaxing. You're not supposed to think about the music. Which might actually be a flaw for Askew, that a lot of the times, it, when the music comes on, you have to think about it a little bit. Uh, at least in my opinion, which might be the wrong opinion. Uh, the first song that I made was, uh, it was just a sampling of another song that didn't work. <laughs> uh, so I, I sampled it and I I put it, uh, I, I, it, that's what, I mean, I can't really explain it very well. In the, in the, in the video, I'll show the, the sample that I used from the other song that I made. And that's, that was uh, Hills. So Hills is, is made off of that sample. Wow. Wow. People, people, uh, uh, they don't like the spider <laughs> because it is, it is spindly. It's got the, those long fucking legs and, uh, and is scary, freaks people out, which I, you know, I don't have arachnophobia, so I, I can't relate to, to that fear, but I, I listened and I, I put out a, uh, an arachnophobia add on, which is very, very stupid. It's just, it's just the text, a wall of text that says spider. And it's me saying, I am a spider! Hello! And it's, it's just that shit for every spider. And it's it's so dumb. It's so stupid. I want to use the arachnophobia patch. Shoot. I should have put that on. You know what? Well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on right now. I'll put it on right now. I've got it for sure. No, they're going to fucking hit my dog. I feel like they should be dead by now. Okay. Get a meat. There. If I die, it's gonna suck. I'm gonna lose all this. 
my spawn point is so far away from where I am. That's stupid. <laughs> There's an Enderman. The, uh, the, oh fuck, I didn't mean to. I really didn't mean to. God damn it. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the arachnophobia pack. Thought I heard. Oh, there's an airplane. All right, let's go. I don't know what happened, but uh, we ate some wing stop last night, and it just totally, totally destroyed my stomach. I woke up with a oh look, mushroom island. I woke up like my stomach felt like a, a stone. It felt like there was a a rock in there, and uh, and I I threw up all over my bathtub. So, I'm drinking, I'm not drinking, uh, Diet Cokes like I usually would. I'm drinking Gatorade today to try and ease my stomach, which I don't feel bad anymore. Uh, the, it was just, you know, I'm going to leave him in there because I'm going to come right back. Huh? I don't feel bad anymore because it, it was just the, the throwing up was what needed to happen to, to rid myself of, of the, the feeling, but now I'm good. Bonk is freaking out because of the mowers. Oh, you can't see her, but she's she's directly behind, uh, behind my my monitor. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. What's going on? You don't like the mower? You're being mean to you. You're in, you're in my way. Uh, this is gonna ruin some things for some people. Um, so the, the water sounds are also redundant, ski, right? If you, if you listen closely, it's pretty rare, but one of them has the sound of birds chirping in the background. Which is not on purpose. It's not on purpose at all. It, it's because I recorded all the splashing sounds outside, and there were birds chirping. Uh, you know, I could probably fix that if, if I really, really wanted to. But it's very rare, and in my opinion, it, uh helps better so this is a homegrown minecraft you know it's like when people try to try to write like a kid and they make their e's backwards on purpose it's like that except it was certainly not on purpose i didn't train the bird ahead of time to, to please tweet while i'm i'm making the splash sound effect this is a nice song this one is is very heavily based on a an animal crossing Oh hey, look at that! We got a we got a rare cow. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Die. Uh, a couple mobs have have special rare variations. No real reason. No no point to that. But I just I think it's fun. Hmm. Oh, it's true. My attack and defense are zero now. I've I've seen multiple people play askew, and no one has ever noticed the attack and defense on, on their own. I don't think multiple people who weren't my friends who helped test it. Which, my friends, uh, pretty fucking cool. True materials is silk touch. Reinforcement is unbreaking. And prosperity with prosperity with a T for pickaxe's fortune, and then the I uh, being a sword, that is uh, looting. So both of them are just called prosperity with different signifiers on their uh, in their titles. Writing the music for Askew was a uh, a challenge. Uh, I'm, I, I don't really write music with high quality instruments. <laughs> and uh, I, 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 that might be noticeable. I think this song is one that feels a lot more natural than some other songs do. I'm, I'm used to writing music with really shitty old video game samples. So making music for fake Minecraft, which uses like, you know, pianos and, and a lot of orchestral stuff. It wasn't uh, something that I was really I was really prepared for. So I wasn't I, I wasn't really good at it when I started doing it, uh, and I'm still pretty much not good at it. I, I am obviously trying to emulate um, all the all the Minecraft music that came before, but you know I can't help but but do do some silly stuff like making a song based off Animal Crossing because a lot of 
uh, Minecraft YouTubers, they use Animal Crossing music in the background of their of their games or of just regular videos. Ow. The oh the, the skeletons. That's a fun story. So I don't know if you've ever heard those um those those shitty like wave file to MIDI converters, but they they I always thought that they were fascinating. Uh, it, like a fascinating, weird thing. So what I did was I took the regular Minecraft sounds from the skeleton and I put them into a wave to MIDI converter. And then I replaced the uh, the instrument instead of it being a piano, I replaced it with a fucking xylophone. So, oh weird, this is on, on the surface. So that's how you get a xylophone screaming in agony. Is is I? It's just very, fairly. Oh fuck! I still don't have a pickaxe. All right, let's make a pickaxe because it's been too long since. Oh! I heard him. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hurt my dog! Hurt my dog! Hurt my me! How did I get owned so fast? That world was fun. Super, super cool. We're gonna start a new world. We've seen all that world has to offer us. We've seen all the world has to offer us. Okay, this is way better. This is way better. We're in a spruce biome. I like spruce biome. And we did not waste um, an hour and 14 minutes just now. That's not what happened. Someone else did that. Copper was the last ore for me to make textures for because I think copper is stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I like some of the builds that I've seen with copper, but man, we got a new ore and I, I, I wanted tools. I wanted tools. So, man, askew, you can get copper tools by uh, by renaming them in an anvil. That was a, that was a personal one. Same with the, uh, the emerald uh, armors. When I was a kid, I I made a texture pack. I made a texture pack before Askew. Uh, it was something like a, a Chris's texture pack of awesomeness and some bullshit like that. It was in elementary school, and it was it was really terrible. It was really bad. I might show footage. Footage exists of this online. It, it was like a bunch of blinding neon colors with uh, some some stolen assets. <laughs> uh, I I made. The armors look like Kirby, because I like Kirby, my favorite, and uh, and I made it so that all the diamonds were, were emeralds. Uh, I don't know why. I got super fixated on the uh, the Emerald Palace from The Wizard of Oz, and I, I that was the only thing I would build ever. It was it was bad, but I liked it. I liked it a lot, and my brother liked it, which is oh, that was what mattered. We I I would get on my laptop. And it would run really poorly, and uh, then he would get on his laptop, which was a hand-me-down from me, and it would run even worse. I, I, all I would do, and this is something that I still do to this day. I like those those semi-vanilla uh, servers where you just you can hop on and play regular, like survival Minecraft in a multiplayer setting. I love that so much because I love walking around and looking at people's builds and uh, just just admiring them. There's a mountain. That's what I wanted. I wanted to find a, a cool mountain. That's a pretty damn cool mountain. I, I never liked those uh, those like resource packs that would add hyper realistic skies and they they would have like misty clouds and beautiful galaxies at night. Cause that's cool. I, I, I understand why someone might like that, but it didn't feel like uh, didn't feel like Minecraft to me. So the the sky boxes here are are all limited <laughs> color palettes and the uh, and pixelated. I don't think they're too distracting. I hope they're not at least. Uh, I think the sunset might be a bit distracting, especially considering the custom shading. It's not really a shader, and I don't know what it's supposed to be called. Ooh, look at that. Okay, see perfect example. Colored shading right here. I would turn off the skew. To show you the difference, but uh, it's uh, we got. I want to see some seasons. Oh, now it's turning. It's turning night. So as it turns night, it everything gets super orange, including these shadows. Uh, and in just a moment, when it gets to 
to fully night, when it when it stops being sunset, we'll see uh, just how night it can get. Oh shoot, I don't have a bed yet. But look, now it's it's getting bluer, and like super blue, super super blue. Uh, it's a lot deeper of a color than Minecraft does, because Minecraft almost exclusively shades with black, which you know if you've done any sort of artist artisty things, you know that. Most of the time, the shading you don't want to use is black. There are times to use uh, blackish shading, but oh, uh, look at this. Okay, this is our spot. This is our spot. I don't know why. Um, if you want to read into it, go crazy. I will admit freely that the skew has a lot of like. Uh, my last stream just completely fucked up because uh, Frontier Internet, really good, really awesome. So what part cut off on? People thought that Askew was an ARG when it came out, and I'm sorry to say that's not true. There, there, it's not that there's no deeper meaning to it. There's a little bit, you know. There's uh, if if you want it, it's there. It's not like shoved down your throat, really. But it, it is in my favorite part of Askew, uh, which is the end poem, written by the. Immaculate Cassandra Bick. It's so good. Which, like, you know, I can say that I didn't write it. <laughs> so <laughs> I had some versions of it that I wrote myself, and I'm I'm just not a very good writer, if we're totally honest. I wish I was. I, I really wish I was, because that would have meant I wouldn't have had to ask anyone for help. But I'm I'm very glad that I did ask Cassandra, and I wrote the uh, the song Yggdrasil to her poem. I mean, I had a, a a version of the song beforehand. I I had written something that you know, would be similar to it, but after I heard her poem, I changed the direction of the song quite a bit, and it, it gave a, a, a nice result, I think. Only one person has commented that they've gotten to the to the poem, which I understand. I'm very thankful, extremely thankful, for the people who have found a skew. It's so cool, because almost everyone who finds it enjoys it, which is, that's so cool, because I thought, I thought for sure that this was going to be some controversial thing because people love C418's music so much, which I also love C418's music. Don't get me wrong. I, it is, it, it's definitely my favorite Minecraft music, but I think, I think people are way, way too mean to the new composers. Like, I, I'm, I'm sorry that they make good music. They do. They make really good music. Some, some of it better than the original. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't put me on a, on a, on a spike and carried me throughout the town. There's a lot of music that did not make the cut. <laughs> There's like probably another album's worth. It, most of them's not fully complete, but at some point I will, I will release. Uh, maybe I, I might release like a, a scrapped album. It won't be. It won't be nearly as long as the Askew soundtrack. The Askew soundtrack is three and a half hours long, which was a surprise to me when uh, when I was done. There are obviously parts that I'm I'm unhappy with. I'm really unhappy with, actually. The, even my favorite song in the soundtrack, Legacy, got issues with it. The the ending is kind of underwhelming. <gasps> the uh, the Enderman sounds are me because most people know that the Endermen are are saying some stuff. So what I did was I recorded myself saying them, and then I reversed it, and I listened to that backwards, and then I said the reversed words, uh, whispering them. I, I, I whispered the reversed words back, and uh, did some some weird uh, audio editing. So that's why they sound like that. Oh, I have cooked bacon. The, uh, the, the eating sounds are me eating Oreos really loudly. Uh, some fun, just regular Minecraft facts. Most every mob, like, uh, attacking mob, has their own stepping sound, except for creepers. Uh, creepers, their footstep sounds are just like how a player would walk on things. Like, the sounds for deep slate, or for stone, or for grass, or whatever. <laughs> at, at, at one point, oh, there, there's some. At one point, I got banned from, uh, from, from a Minecraft server, because, uh, Older askew versions had had glowing diamonds, like they had emissive textures for the diamonds, and uh, apparently that's a thing that can get you banned in uh, in some servers. For a while they didn't have any glow, but now uh, they'll just they'll sparkle sometimes, and the sparkle is 
the sparkles are offset, and not not every side gets a sparkle too. Uh, sometimes they just won't sparkle, so you do still have to look for them. You can't rely on the sparkles. See that side sparkled, but this side did, and this side did. So there's there's quite a few different sparkle variations, which are all just manually put in the game. Uh, there isn't really a thing for you know waiting to play animations. So oh oh damn dude, this is shit ton. It's gonna sound cringe, so prepare for that. And this makes sense in my head. It might not make sense to, to you, but that's okay. I always thought the C418 focused really heavily on the loneliness of Minecraft, because you know, he was there before multiplayer and shit. It's like that for for a long time. And then when Lena Rain and Kumi Tanioka, when they came along, they, they focused on the the mystery, which is, is cool, because they both focused on different aspects of Minecraft while still keeping a, a pretty similar style. Also, Aaron Cheroff kind of continued this, where he would focus on a different aspect of Minecraft, but he came in after Skew, after all the soundtrack was done. It was cool. Uh, his was like the digitalness of, of Minecraft, like how, how digital it was. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you listen to, to any, of these, any of these composers' music with these things in mind, I think you'll understand what I mean. And so, this is the cringe part. For Askew, I wanted to focus on hope. I don't know why. I just thought, you know, I think Minecraft's very hopeful. If you die and you lose all your stuff, you can go and get it back. Or if, you know, if something's too hard for you, you go in creative mode and then you, you make it easier. You know, Minecraft is a boundless game. Everyone can do whatever they want. And it's, it's you know, I think it's very hopeful. I hope this guy will delete that texture pack because it looks sick. That's a really, like, excellent point. I I like things having finality. I do. A skew will not be updated in ad infinitum. It will definitely just exist for a while at, at, at the full uh, function list, and then I will stop updating it because it doesn't need to exist forever. Uh, we would like things to exist forever, but it, they, they, they don't. Whenever I was a kid, or 100% at a game, I would delete the save file immediately after. I still do that. I don't really know why. I just, I like that there's finality. I like that um, if I want to enjoy aspects of the game again, I'll have to go through the whole thing. I'll have to appreciate all of it because uh, I would, oh no. Okay, I'm fucking off. I'm fucking off right now. I'm fucking off. Oh, sh oh my God. You did not have to do that sound effect. You did not have to do that sound effect right now. You wouldn't be in danger if you were using a worse texture pack. Inarguably true. Spider. You are hurting until we meet again. Oh, another fun thing is that that some of the skeletons are zombies, and some of the zombies have the skeleton skull. It, it's just uh, I, I've never seen anyone do uh, anything like that. I'm sure that that exists somewhere because there's no way that I, that I came up with with all these ideas. But a doggy in my last world. That doggy is is dead forever. I mean, it didn't die before me, in front of me. No! Stop shooting me! You dumb so-and-so. Are you allowed to say cunt on Twitter? <laughs> I don't use it frequently. I just wanted I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. Bro, you have your curve <laughs> your co-fi machine saying that shit. <laughs> Am I allowed to have my co-fi on screen? No! I mean normal things. No! Oh my god! Our, so, our life has ended. 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 Our, our life has ended. Our life has ended. Our life has ended. That fucking spider was spinning. Oh my god. No! No! I don't know where how to get- I don't know how to get back. I forgot. 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 No. 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 Fortnite! 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 Ow! No! No! That's not allowed! No! You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! But it wasn't bad. Oh! This one is made by a stupid idiot. We've got an, an, an abundance of, uh, of funny sounds. I'll be your spider for the evening. Where? Add an evil rock. I already did. It's called coal. That sucks, man. Thanks. All right, I'm cut. Cool. Oh shit. The spruce sapling is still blue. <laughs> this is a, a fun fact, I suppose. Um, like a week before release. 
a week before Minecraft Askew released, um, all the spruce trees were white and slightly blue, uh, and they were called Nevergreen because they were no, be because they were never green. As fun as I thought the pun was for Nevergreen, um, it just it it didn't look very good. It messed with people's builds, so I took it out. It was a point of contention in my in my friend group who had played Askew because they liked Nevergreen, and I like Nevergreen too. But uh, to compensate, I made it so that the the green wood in the nether, the, the warped forest, all of that is now called nether green. So would they go all the way to the surface? <gasps> no! 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 no. <laughs> Give me my pickaxe! A lot of weird uh, waiting. W E I G H T I N G with the music in regular Minecraft. The newer music plays a lot more frequently than the older music, and that is on purpose. Uh, they, they specifically have uh, like different weighted values for each biome to determine which song plays when. They have the newer music quite a bit jacked up, which makes sense. I, I think people's natural response to that information was to get angry. When I put out a, a YouTube short about that, they're like, Mojang screwing us over, and not really. It's more so just that. If you put new music in your game, like, and no one ever hears it, they're gonna think that you didn't do it. <laughs> so that's why it's weighted like that. And it seems to go back to a kind of normal weighting um, once they they add new music. Like, the, the now the old new music, the music that got added last update, gets put into the back burner. So it, it, it evens out, sort of, I think. It seems pretty unanimous that uh, Viridian Kingdom is the worst one, except for the, the music that's like, purely weird ambient stuff, which I like for it in game. I do. I like that it's in 3-4. I like the the music box and the uh, the the violins. This isn't helpful because we're listening to a song right now that is not Viridian Kingdom, but you gotta believe me, that one's my favorite. They're not not my favorite, not my favorite, but it's it's one that I like a lot. Uh, that and make believe. Make believe uh, gets shit on too. But both of those were kind of made uh, a little a little scumuly. Because I noticed that I had too many songs that were not very Minecrafty, and so I wanted a spree of making songs that sounded more like Minecraft. And uh, Viridian Kingdom and Make Believe were both both in that that section where I was just trying to make something that sounded like Minecraft. Even though Vir Viridian Kingdom did end up being more more different with uh, the the drum beat and whatnot. I think all the drums from that song are from Earthbound, but are. Uh, like compressed super heavily so they're all really snappy and and hit you in the brain which I, I always thought was fun yeah okay let's do that kill this damn dog that's extremely <laughs> I forgot about that wait you can't reach derogatory that's stupid whoever made that stupid I don't know how big our house is gonna be I want it to be like respectable that's what I want I want a respectable a home that uh People walk into and they say, damn, this is overcompensating for something. <laughs> damn. Didn't scare me that time, though. I intentionally, I, I made that sound way louder after I saw, um, like, a, a video of someone saying, uh, when you're playing Minecraft at night and the, the thing breaks and it's scary. So I, I made it louder after, here, after seeing that to make it just that little bit more fucked up for people. Okay. Let's think. <laughs> you want to do... Uh, I don't know if I can do that on stream. Ooh, but it's funny. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. So, if you're ever struggling for inspiration, trying to, to figure out what to build in Minecraft, this is going to be bad. I really hope it doesn't show my fucking location. <laughs> um... Go on Zillow and just just look some just look them up. Just look up a house. Oh, this is gonna be bad. It's totally gonna show my house. Okay, so there's a thing that says current location. Let's find. Let's let's see where which what what town should we look for houses in? Current? No, we don't <laughs> we don't pick current location. <laughs> We're going to pick somewhere else. What if I start typing and it auto fills my address? Kentucky. All right, let's go to Kentucky. Let's go to Kentucky. Are you allowed to show people's houses? They don't own this house yet. That's a cool house. Look at that house. 
We don't have bricks though, and it's gonna take a long time to get bricks. I mean, none of these are gonna be made out of wooden planks, but you know, we could we could get something. There it is, the perfect house. We do all this effort to go and find the house, and we just choose a fucking square. I really hope I'm allowed to be doing what I'm doing. Damn, look at that place. Ooh. That's a lot of balconies. That's the pooping room. Room for poop. I can request a tour as early as tomorrow at 11. Please click current. I'm not going to do that. A picture of this house to someone and say, talk frantically for when you here, live here later. Exactly. This is not Doxon because no one lives here yet. And, okay. Also, if someone lives here, they have too much money. They have too much money. Pain a stream. No. Pain a stream is later. We're going to take care of that. All in due time. I want something that's both reasonable and somewhat interesting, like this house. It's been, it's got a price cut. That means it's good for us. We could do this one. This one looks nice. What do we think? What do we think? We could use mangrove for the main side and birch for everything else. Maybe quartz stairs for the roof. Or, or, or nether brick stairs for the roof. I don't think we're gonna be recreating the interior. They got a Squishmallow! They got a Squishmallow! Bitches love Squishmallow. Okay, it's decided then. Let's, oh, it's winter now. We spent so long just, just trying to find a home. What is he doing? What's his problem? I don't think I've seen the bees. They look like that. They look like that. Ah, there's a regular swamp. Oh, the village! Oh, I want to go to the village first. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Did you just say cock beating stream to me? You said cock beating stream to me. <gasps> the, uh, da, 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 da. I got one. That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. I can go home now. If you uh, sleep while I have my, while watching my stream. I actually have it set so that it will start giving you nightmares um, after 30 minutes. Ah, uh, this is another one of my favorite songs. I love this one. I used it for the trailer for a reason. This is this is one of the ones that I can feel confident in saying this is a good one. I don't say I I, I wouldn't openly say that about many of my songs because you know it's, I, it feels narcissistic. There's a fine line between. Uh, knowing your worth and narcissism and i walk it perfectly is this texture changed did i not change the property oil? i don't really like how the how the leaves on the the mangrove trees look in this game i i know i i, I made them but <laughs> but it's true i i think i might go through them again and uh and tidy them up i do like how all these skew mangrove like wood stuff looks though, which, again, we got two sides of the same coin. I'm complimenting my own work, and I'm tearing it down and sharing my opinion. How are you supposed to do this if you have fancy leaves turned off? Prey? Yeah. As a kid, I didn't have friends to play Minecraft with, so uh, I would get, like, a tameable animal, and I would break the uh, the, tr the trunk of a tree, and I would, uh, I would place the animal on one leaf, and then stand on another one and just wait uh, and see who would fall first. If I win, you owe me $18 on Ko-Fi. <laughs> and if you win, then I owe you $18 on Ko-Fi. All right, if you were sticks, you owe me eight. <gasps> New stick, what? All the propagules are gonna fall to the ground and they're all gonna deload because I'm doing this stupid bit. It's not funny either. It's just like, it's kind of lame and a little bit sad if you consider the backstory, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Everyone else loses. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Sam's like drama for Zillow. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck! I made the world beautiful. I could be Jerma. If if the world really needed me to be. He's retiring soon. I'll be his replacement. No. Fuck. That's a Jerma bit. Fuck. He already did that. God damn it. <laughs> it's it's fairly infrequent when I eat hot dogs. My entire brain um, went on a whole a whole conversation, and I didn't include you in it. And I decided to to, to pull you in just now. It's not very often when I eat hot dogs. Uh, when I do, it's it's always four at a time. 
that's also all you get of that of that information. You just get to know that whenever I eat hot dogs, there's four of them, and never, never, never boiled, always, always fried. A, a boiled hot dog is is like Satan's wiener. <laughs> But uh, uh, I, I like them. I like them burnt. I like them like I, I want them to have a texture to them. I don't want them to just be like a, a thing in my mouth. This guy's like Germa for four hot dogs. <laughs> no, I didn't change it. That's the same. That's the same dog. Damn. We, we live. I'm a hack. <laughs> we've we've discovered live that I'm I'm a, a phony. A, a male manipulator. My bad. I turned. I <laughs> take the chicken. Uh, I, my friends. Uh, I I love my friends. Sometimes they would just tell me like a, a thing to put as the splash text, and uh, I think that was one of them. Dude, I burped into my cupped hands, and then the carbonation from the burp rose into my nose. Buy my music on Bandcamp. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing Java Edition streams. I could keep doing it, but at, at the very least, the next stream I'll do it in Bedrock. Because those features are are very interesting. I think they're worth pointing out, even if a Bedrock edition of a SKU never happens. Which, uh, unfortunately, it, it, that does seem like how it's gonna be. Uh, you know, it, it's been super cool how many people have have seen a SKU, and and most people who see a SKU. They like it, which that's that's so cool. That is so nice, but it's it's not enough to pay bills. Which sticks. I think I've already said these exact words actually, so I'm gonna shut up now. But I I, I hope that I, I hope that someday I can put out uh, Bedrock Askew, and and when I do, I would like to sell it for far less than I think it's worth. I'd like to sell it for like like three bucks or or four bucks, five bucks, or something like that. If in the future that it doesn't sell for that much, I need you to know that it, it wasn't my choice. I need you to understand that. Because I really, I just want to put it out and have as many people as possible be able to experience it. Because it's so fun to be able to play... That scared the fucking shit out of me. It's so fun to be able to play a SKU on, like, the Switch. Which, I, you know, it takes a long time, but you can do. Uh, I'll explain more about that during the, the Bedrock stream. But uh, it, it's it's a very it's very cool at least in my opinion. And I know Bedrock is like the less good version of Minecraft. I agree with that. But there's a lot of optimizations and uh, available options that make it the exclusive version that that a lot of people use. I, I have a, a, a terrible confession to make. This is this is genuine. This is not me. Me making something up for drama. Whenever I want to play Minecraft by myself and have fuck, and have a, 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 a jolly time, I, I pick up Bedrock Edition. I do. Uh, but it's for a good reason. It's for a good reason. It's for a good reason. It's because it's the only version that has controller support. And I like... I like very few things in the world. No, I like quite a few things in the world. But I, I, there's some things that I like a lot more than other things. And one of them is specialty controllers. I love fucking cool controllers. I have a shit ton of them. There are so many in my house. It's bad. But it's also fun. I will, I will show you. I'll show quite a few of that tomorrow. But I, I, I really like them. Show us your 8-bit collection. I will. I will. But you gotta wait till tomorrow. But now, now that we've uh, gone through all of that, I wonder how long has it been since Zillow Talk? It's it it has to Zillow Talk. That's the that's the name of my new EP. Oh, because it's like it's not you, like it's not it's not like a one night stand thing. It's you're getting a house together. It's Zillow Talk. So it's more love than Pillow Talk. It's genius. They need to make a an enemy in Minecraft that just takes items off the floor and eats them one by one. I do have a couple ideas for regular Minecraft that I would 
I would love to pitch to, to Mo Yang. Like, uh, I want there to be a stew that you can make out of, uh, out of materials from, like, n like nether wart, like a nether-based stew, and do you call it soul sand, soul slaw, soul slaw, and you call it soul slaw, it's a retake, I did the retake, hmm, soul slaw, like, Fucking do it! <laughs> the world has been clamoring for soul slaw this entire time. No, no, no! Not S O L E. Soul. Oh wait, you can't see my chat. Soul slaw. There. Now you can see it. Yeah. Now you can see it above my my head. Soul slaw. Toby Fox is such a smart man. For making the coolest thing ever and then fucking off just disappearing i would i would kill to do that like obviously i like streaming here it's fun but i would love to make something and then just go completely silent that way people could could um just f find my shit and i don't have to explain it <laughs> that's that's what i kind of did with the skew i didn't release anything until the skew was done i didn't uh I didn't do the thing that every resource pack maker does, where they're like, Oh, here's here's my resource pack. I've only done, like, the grass block and the dirt block, but, um, here it is! And then people, for like a whole year, are asking, Hey, when are you gonna finish it? And they just never do, because they've already gotten the serotonin of, of putting something out. People have already said, Wow, I love the 8-bit style, this is so cool. And then they don't have to make the rest, because they've already gotten all the satisfaction we get out of it. So I, I waited until I was fully done to, to put a skew out. That, that might seem a little mean, which I, I kind of mean it to be mean. But I'm not calling anyone in particular out because I, I don't even know who I would name to for that particular thing. But you got to trust me. It happens, and it happens frequently. There's, there's so much beef in the resource pack community. No, that's not true. I, uh, I, I don't really know anyone who makes resource packs. I'm not really friends with anyone. Who uh who also makes resource packs, but also it's it's hard to to wait to put things out. And trust me, I'm I'm well aware. I, I wanted to to put stuff out earlier, and I, I you know I did cheat. I cheated a little bit. I had a SoundCloud page where I would upload the music as I completed it. Which I don't think is cheating too much, but because n no one really knew what the pack looked like or or anything like that, which is uh the main driving force for texture packs. All right, time to actually put down a block. Put it, put it here. Wonderful stream today. Uh, I thank you everyone for, no, I'm not doing that. Adventure's just around the corner, which means we have to keep going. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I love this song. This is my favorite song. This is Legacy. This is my favorite song in all of Askew. That's very fitting. Let's do 14 by 14. That's very fitting. We'll do 14 by 14. It is awkward. Uh, <laughs> playing the game with my own music playing in the background. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure no one else cares. But And I, I don't care that much. I'm still doing it. I chose to do it, so... I don't care that much. There's another... There's a double door here. Weird, but I'll, I'll live with it. Oh wait, shoot, there's a there's a chimney here. Cool. 
We know because it's, it's someone else's. A noteworthy point of the story is that um, whenever I would do this, it was always on, like, public servers. Because I was hoping that the person who would... <laughs> who, I was hoping that the person who moved into the house would someday play on the server and just find a perfect replica of the house. That probably never happened, but if it did... God, could you imagine? Life would life could be a dream. It is peculiar to have the uh, the chimney at the front of the house. It is weird. I'm guessing that when we're done, it's gonna look kind of normal. I'm, I'm guessing when we're done, it's gonna have enough detail that it's just gonna melt in our brain as one normal thing. 14 by 14 is like 16 by 16, but you take the uh, the outer ring. Yeah, that's right. Uh, which is, I think, what my thought process was. Maybe I just knew that I wanted to do something different. The, the immediate thought was just to take, like, it's just to make it 15 by 15, but um, it, I didn't do 15 by 15 because I thought it was too obvious, you know? So I did 14 by 14 instead. Does that make any sense? Definitely not. Not, not even a little bit. But I thought if I was going to change it, I would change it to 15 by 15, which was my first guess. So I didn't go with my first guess. I went with my my second one. I think 15 by 15 would have been interesting because it would have had a singular center pixel instead of two by two. That's also true, is I, I would love, I, I was really hoping that a skew would get like, like big, like big, so people could make their own like weird texture packs. Because a 15 by 15 pack would be really interesting. Because like you said, there would be a center to, to every block. There would be an exact center instead of there being like a, a, a square of centers. And maybe I should start over. <laughs> I should make a, a new askew. I'll make a skew. I will make Minecraft slightly tilted. Oh yeah, uh, the the stairs. I don't know if you noticed, but they are different. They are, they are three instead of two, which is, I kind of glossed over it before. But uh, in the crafting table, when you make stairs, there's always three steps, but they always come out as two. Uh, gives you- oh, I want to talk about the lighting. I know it's boring, but I want to talk about it. So, the lighting is made very particular. My favorite shit with art is light. So I was very particular about how the light works in a skew. There, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight, like, saturation increase on, on like, right there, where the, where the light and the, um... Uh, I, I can show it better by doing this. Okay, watch this, watch this. So, look, look right here. There's a slight like more red saturation that divides the yellow light and the blue. Okay, so now it's turning evening, which means everything turns red. <laughs> I don't know what an actual light makes that happen, but I'm I'm such a big fan. And now it's turning blue again. And you can see there's like a, a slight a slight increase to the saturation band in between where it becomes yellow and blue. I was very, very particular about that. You can't stop me. I've tried to stop me before, and it didn't work. Oh, what? Why are you normal? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Why are you talking to me, but also... Wait, hold on. What did I do wrong? Why is it talking to me, but... Oh, I have the, uh... I have a skew over the spider one. Shit. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. The skew is broken! <laughs> There are a couple bugs that I've noticed while playing. Uh, just because I, I haven't played regular Minecraft in a while. I like the game, but it, uh, after you look at it for so long, it just hurts hurts a lot. Does that mean you didn't do spider sounds since Skew isn't overriding them? I did, but... Um... Why isn't it overriding them? There obviously are spider sounds in Askew. Why isn't it over- There's a thing in all the sound events where you can ask it to replace it with your own code, right? And so when I made all the Trider sounds, I didn't have to replace the code because I just replaced the sounds that were already in Minecraft. Whereas for the spider pack, the, the Arachnophobia pack, I had to set that block to replace because there were all new sounds. There were way more sounds than how much a usual spider can do. So all of those are set to replace, while in regular skew, there's no need to replace them. So I suppose the replace, even though it's below it, it gets overridden, so it goes to the top. If I had to guess, which that could be wrong. If that's wrong, someone tell me, because I don't know. 
No, there's no real need to fix that. Oh, look how much iron there is! Because that, that's, like, who cares? <laughs> the skew just replaces the, uh, the, the actual audio files, whereas the arachnophobia pack asks it to redirect uh, where the audio files are located. If we want to get really musical, we could talk about lead motifs. But I don't know if I want to. I kind of want people to find them out themselves, but I will, I'll, I'll, I'll nudge uh, viewers in the, in the right direction. If there are still people watching to this point, like even if I edit this down, this is still gonna be like far into whatever video that I made. But uh, I, I want you to, I want you to listen to this, okay? Keep track of this melody while I'm playing, okay? It is, uh, it doesn't really hold, uh, 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 I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. Just to keep it in mind while listening to the skew pack, or listening to the skew soundtrack. Uh, and that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, also, uh, sometimes certain blocks will be encased and stuff next to them. That was a bad example, because it didn't work on two sides. Oh, look, there, that's a pretty good example. So it gets encased in the, uh, granite around it. I was playing a hardcore world and I put a shield up as a creeper was about to explode, and it didn't block. I, I always thought that, like, because I joined, uh, I started playing after, like, a while of Minecraft. I didn't, uh, I didn't play Minecraft for a long time, and then I suddenly started playing it, like, right as I was making a skew. And I was really, really shocked that the shield just completely blocked creeper damage. I thought that was nuts. Because creepers were the scariest thing in the world as a kid. Uh, but now I'm hopelessly dependent on, on the shield. But look, I almost missed this one, because it's in... Well, okay, I almost missed it because of the fucking lighting, if we're honest, but look, there's, it's covered in bullshit. Ah! There we go, okay. We're just going to sit here for a while. What is, what is the worst drink you've ever had? I've had, I've had some pretty bad drinks. I, one, of, one of the worst ones I ever had was like... Was, was a Bang energy drink. Birthday cake flavor. It was birthday cake flavor. It was really, really nasty. I really did not enjoy it. Uh, we got a disc. We got a disc. I don't know what that sound is. I don't remember. A lot of the a lot of the shit just happened one day in a in a haze. So I don't know what that fucking cave sound was. I added two new ones in the most recent patch. Uh, well, not really. They were already in the files, but they weren't actually programmed to work. So now they work. <laughs> yeah, attack, check, defense, yep. <laughs> I like that one. Well, I say that with all of them, because I, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't put it in. So I guess I'm, I'm a hack in that capacity too. All the, uh, all the sounds in a skew uh, are not in their most high quality format, because I wanted to uh, press everything for, for a wider release. Because I, I, I sent, <laughs> I sent people a skew before it was out. And, uh, add a Kofi shield? That's a good idea. I sent the pack to people before, and it was huge, and I think they thought it was a virus. So they didn't download it. They, they like, they pretended they played with it. They said, like, oh, yeah, it's cool. I like how it looks. And I was like, yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah, no. So we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, smelt enough iron to make an anvil so we can rename an item to be something. So we're just gonna we're just gonna pop in. I was concerned you wouldn't have enough iron, but that is not correct. Bring based bacon. I would love to. Oh no! <laughs> we were talking about how this is the worst biome, and we can't get like enough netherrack here. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna try anyways. We're gonna try anyways. God damn it! <laughs> this is the worst biome, especially for what we hope to accomplish. Oh. Also, we might be trapped here, because I imagine we're completely surrounded on all sides with lava. Oh, something. 
Hmm. Well, let's get as much as we can over here. And then we'll worry about getting back. Oh, Overload is just around the corner. Cool, we get another song right before we head out. We're getting quite a few netherrack right here. Oh, I, I, I blew this out of proportion. We're okay. I want an even stack. All right, cool. So now we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. We got five stacks of, uh, of netherrack, which will definitely not be enough, but it's nice to pretend, you know? It's enough, it's enough for our purposes today, you know? Now we have enough to make an anvil. So I'm gonna take this out and put netherrack in it. What should we make? What should we make with the, uh, with our, our, well, we could make multiple things, I suppose. Put it right here. We'll make a, uh, my, my favorite, well, my second favorite is rose gold. So we'll do that, rose gold sword. We'll do a, uh, what kind of shield should we do? We could do a, Funkin' Eshu. It's a kitty cat. So four of them make nether bricks. And then... What the fuck? What happened here? What? Something's broken. It's not good. Okay. We'll put you there. Excellent. Okay. So... Cool. We've got, we've got all that set up. So let's let's put our. You know what I think we should do? Because I don't trust bedrock. I think we should put all of our stuff into this chest, <laughs> just in case. Because I don't. I'm I'm not super confident in the uh, the conversion uh, the conversion uh, algorithm. Cool. All right. Well, that will be that will be all. <laughs> That's a good number. That will be all for for this stream. I'll turn off the, the picture of the house. Bye-bye. <laughs> that, that is my attack in defense. So, tomorrow we're going to... Well, I'm going to convert the world to bedrock in my own time. But tomorrow we will... I looked the wrong way. In my uh, frantic attempts to uh, to turn the, the, the mic on, I almost hit stop streaming. Which meant, would have made for a, for a very, very short stream. I'm gonna transition over here. Smoothly. Smooth transitions. Uh, welcome to Bedrock. Also, uh, I can't see what chat is saying or anything that's happening because uh, Bonk, the kitty cat, is sitting perfectly so that uh, it is impossible to tell what's happening on my stream or otherwise. Bedrock and Java have things that are different between the two of them. One of them being that block models can't be changed. This, the stairs on the roof there, those are different. Uh, they're just regular stairs. And uh, the lighting is also, it's not like blue, like I showed off in the last stream. The fences, which there are none on screen, they're also back to normal instead of being the vertical slabs from Askew. And Bedrock, you can technically do a skybox but you can't change it depending on the time of day. So the weird like mountain cloud things, they're just like semi-transparent so that you see them during the day and the night. But regardless, we're gonna be playing Bedrock, which gives us some, some neat features. In the Bedrock edition, uh, here, I'll just read this off for you. In the Java edition of Minecraft Askew, you're able to change the appearance of your tools and armors by renaming them in an anvil. Unfortunately, in Bedrock Edition, no such feature can exist. So the slider above allows you to choose a desired look that replaces the diamond and netherite textures. Note these are changes to more than tools and armors, so in caves you may find unique ores that replace others. So right now we're in standard. Pacified makes it so that a couple things that are like a little more strange in Askew get put back to normal, like the sticky hand. Is, is a lead again. <laughs> the, the, the conduit is back to normal. And it also makes it so that both askew and like standard Minecraft music can play uh, at, a, at a regular random rate. And then all the rest of these are the different armor types and tool types that you could get in, in Java Edition askew. So let's go with, I feel like I do Emerald a lot. We'll go with, we'll go with Platinum. I don't use Platinum nearly enough. So this also changes a couple things, like if you see that, uh, the beacon over there, the beacon also changes to platinum. I don't think I've ever advertised platinum before. I've maybe put it in images, but I've never, um, like, like, put it out as a, uh, as a, as, as one of, of, of a choice or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, I haven't loaded this before, so... 
this appears to be spawn. We're also gonna turn on keep inventory because this is bedrock edition and we're gonna have bullshit deaths and we're gonna want this. Uh, there's also all the, uh, the, the loading messages have been changed. I found out that I could do that. I've never seen any texture pack change the loading messages. Porting a resource pack from the Java edition to the bedrock edition is so stupidly hard. And I think, I think Minecraft could fix that if we're honest. There's no, like, converter. There's no way to just, like, oh, just, just make it bedrock. Just, just have a, a, a program do that. There's, there's no such object for that, which I really, really wish there was. There, there, there was a project that someone made, but it stopped working after, uh, after a certain update, so it wasn't of that much help. So despite, uh, most things working, except for that furnace and the stone cutter and the bed, <laughs> uh, you have to believe me, this was not just a, uh, click a button and make, make all this work. All the UI, all the blocks, all the items, they all had to be put back into the game, uh, very specifically and very particularly. If you see problems or you see stuff that, like this disc, that doesn't look like it's supposed to, I need you to keep that in mind. So, I, I basically made, uh, two, oh, they say rose gold, cause, cause I named them rose gold last, last stream. I made two resource packs, basically. I only made the assets for one, but had to uh, adapt for two. And even then, the some lots of the resources had to be remade. Every single block and item is no longer 14 by 14. Because when I made it 14 by 14, the, the bedrock edition of like trying to, to fit the mip maps and, and squeeze the pixels into working, it, it's just, it's completely different. I, I don't know how to explain it. I'll show it through like a, 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 a an image editing software because I can I can replicate it through that. But it was very strange. I later found out that just putting everything to 28 by 28 fixed it. So technically, despite the the images not really changing, uh, everything everything in the pack is is 28 by 28 instead of 14 by 14. Which you'd never know if I didn't tell you. But I'm I'm here to be honest. I don't want us keeping secrets from each other. And every model, every single model in in the Bedrock Edition had to be completely remade. There, there's no like converter for Java Edition models and Bedrock models because they use completely different uh, they use completely different engines to render everything. The the one thing that made it super difficult and made it so I had to even remake some of the actual textures for a couple mobs. There's slight differences between the the Java Edition uh, textures and the, the Bedrock Edition textures. Per face UV. So UV is the textures applied to a model because, you know, models don't, don't come with textures. You have to apply them. If you've ever made a Minecraft skin, the Minecraft skin is a UV for the standard player model. The textures that you change on the PNG are what get changed uh, on, on the model. That's what gets reflected, reflected on there. So with Java Edition, you can very easily um, move around every face. Uh, a face is, uh, this is a face, this is a face, top is a face, this is a face, and the bottom would also be a face. For Java Edition, you get to, you get to set each face on their own. You can, you can set them each individually. Whereas for Bedrock Edition, you can only do it uh, based on a box. Uh, I'll show a visual of some sort in the actual video. When I was making the Java Edition, I had no intention of making a Bedrock Edition, because I, I just didn't like Bedrock all that much. Uh, which I like it. I like it enough now. It's it's alright. I understand its flaws, and I understand, uh, like, why people would prefer it over, over Java. I would even say that, at times, I've preferred it over Java. I had no intentions of making a, uh, a Bedrock Edition until I played on the Switch and I was like, damn, kind of wish I could put a skew on the Switch. And then I spent an ungodly amount of time on a, on this version of the pack that may never see the light of day. So uh, that's another thing that I could talk about. Why this isn't available for people to, to use and play right now, even though it's mostly finished. There's, there's quite a few other problems. I sort of halted development lately because uh, there's no guarantee this will actually get put out. So this single live stream might be the most uh, askew bedrock content that ever exists. 
But the reason it's not out is because Mojang, for a little while, had something called a, a Minecraft partner program, which was super exciting. It meant that like anyone could just submit some content to Minecraft or to Mojang, and they would either approve or disapprove of it and would put it on their, their marketplace. And you needed um, an LLC. You need to establish an LLC to do it. I would gladly set up an LLC. I would pay the fees, I would do all that shit. Uh, if I was able to. While I was making a SKU for Bedrock, the site to submit your uh, your content to be put on the marketplace was still open. It was still publicly available, and anyone could still do it. So I was, I made like everything with the full intent that okay, um, after I'm done, I will just send them the entire pack, and then it'll be done. And there's there's. Hopefully, there's no way they won't uh, disapprove of that. I actually, there's a couple other reasons why they might disapprove. There's never, there's never been a full music resource pack, uh, at all. There weren't really any attempts at all on the Bedrock Edition. So, the question of the, if this e is even allowed is another thing, because I think they might get antsy about music uh, copyright issues, which is. Another reason why I made every single song and every sound uh, royalty free. Every sound that I have control over, uh, like in the deep dark, I don't have I don't have a baby. <laughs> I don't have a baby to to shake to make uh, crying sounds. So the deep dark baby sounds are all from freesound.org. Should be fine though. They're they're royalty free. When I got near finishing the uh, the askew pack and was going to put it, because I wanted to to release them simultaneously. I wanted to release. Java Edition and Bedrock Edition at the same time. I went on the site to go sign up and get ready, and I'm so glad I didn't purchase an LLC <laughs> before that, because those can get uh, relatively pricey. I found out that they were no longer accepting applicants, and when I, I tried to sign up to, to get like an email for when they opened back up, it just didn't accept it. Uh, recently though, uh, this is some exciting news, possibly. I think it might just be uh, a bug, perhaps. But I, I went to go sign up again. They are now doing um, add-ons. I, I realized, oh man, since they're doing a whole new like section of the marketplace, they might have opened up the the applications again. And I, I went to the to the site, and it still wasn't open. But I did put in my my email address just for fun, and it said that it was a success. It said, okay, we'll we'll email you next time. Thanks for the thanks for the email. But I didn't get like a confirmation email of any sort, or or anything like that. So I feel strongly that that was just the system accidentally letting me in, and I didn't get any follow up or anything like that. So right now, the only real hopes of um, Askew Bedrock getting put out is um, either. Mojang just opens their their applications again, and I will submit it, and hopefully I will be able to to put it out and give it to people, or that won't happen. <laughs> and I will try to just cold call some people who are already marketplace partners and split the revenue, which I really would, wouldn't like to split the revenue because I, I made all of it. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no parts of this that I didn't make. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. Okay, there's there's a lot of like uh, uh, smaller parts, like my friends uh, having their sounds in, doing doing a moo and whatnot. But specifically, I'd like to to administer a formal apology to to uh, Marissa's brother, <laughs> Tyler, who made uh, who made the chain texture, and then I added a backdrop to. I forgot that they made. Oops, that he made a single texture and did not, I did not credit the, the, the chain texture in the credits. This will be remedied in the Bedrock port. So, if you, if you, if you want this, this, uh, injustice to be fixed, please support, uh, the, the Bedrock edition of Minecraft Askew finally coming out. <laughs> Sir? Oh, that's, that's also fucked. Don't look at that. Another thing worth noting is the, uh, the seasons. Although they work in Bedrock, they work differently. So if I if I leave the game and come back, the seasons are gonna reset because animated blocks don't reset in Java when you leave a world, but uh, they do reset in Bedrock for some reason. Who is now on my TV? Huge. It if you get the Bedrock edition, it can be on your TV for the low low price of one billion dollars. I do want if 
if I get to put it on the marketplace. I want to sell it for cheap. I want I want to sell it for significantly less than it's worth. Also, the clouds are blue in Bedrock, and they're gray in Java. Uh, don't have an explanation. Couldn't tell you. But it could just be the song. Yeah, most of the songs are are meant to be around the same volume uh, because I had to optimize them for streaming platforms. Uh, and, and some are, are way too quiet. Some are, 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 are like way too loud, too. Like Some of the ambient songs are a lot louder than they should be. I did as good as I think I could. I've never made a, uh, an album of any sort before. I was going to say that the, uh, the diamonds are different because we're using the, uh, the platinum pack. So uh, depending on which sub pack you use, you'll get different things, which is pretty fun, in, in my opinion. I'll probably change sub packs uh, later so that we get some, some variety. We have to remember that the ore is going to look different for diamonds. This is something that, that is a personal pet peeve of mine. I've actually got, I've got a couple pet peeves with modern Minecraft, uh, but I like everyone does. I'm not special for having pet peeves with modern Minecraft. I also think that modern Minecraft gets too too much shit put on it. So you know, I'm I'm complex. I'm a complicated man. But uh, one of them is, why doesn't Bedrock Edition have subtitles? Bedrock Edition is the one that like that the most people play, which I also think is shocking. But that's true. Uh, way more people play Bedrock Edition than Java Edition. Yeah, probably because you know, kids on, on the iPad and whatnot. But Bedrock Edition is the most accessible version of Minecraft. Why are there no subtitles for it? In Askew, the, you know, the, the hope is just around the corner, adventure's just around the corner, all that stuff uh, is instead delegated to the uh, the loading messages in between the game. So that's, that's, that's how I got around that. Despite all my effort, I'm still going to dive to the gravel. Cool. What I was gonna say is, for some reason, certain items on Bedrock are fucking huge. Like the string and the arrows. Not every item. The, the flesh is fine. Oh wait, no, the bones are fine now. The bones used to be huge. It seems to be rain. Uh, and this isn't just an askew thing. I, the, the pack that I play on the most, other than askew, is the plastic pack. It's very silly. That's also why a lot of the UI in askew is blue. Well, that and it, it complements the orange. So I used to watch a lot of Stampy as a kid. Also, cave noises just happen above ground in uh, in Bedrock. For Java Edition, there were a lot of like sounds that were location-based that I wanted to be in your ears no matter what. The music discs, that's the most obvious one. In regular Minecraft, you put a music disc in, and then you walk around, and the music disc gets quieter, and it shifts to each ear, and that makes me like nauseous. <laughs> I, I don't really like that, and I want to be able to hear the song that I put in. So to get around that, um, in Java Edition, you can just make your your sound files stereo instead of mono. Because if it's mono, they can keep it in one spot and just change where it goes. But since Bedrock is on a more modern engine and they can adjust stuff like that, no matter what, if you if you have a stereo file, it'll still be location based, which really sucks because Askew has new music discs and they're. They're all in stereo, they're all mixed in stereo. So to get around that in the in the code for all the music files, and for a couple other things too, like the cave noises. Um, but like the cave noises, very strange. In regular Java edition, the cave noises by default are in both ears. They're, they're not location-based. But in Bedrock edition, they are location-based. So if you get a cave noise right here and you walk away, it'll get quieter and shift from ear to ear. Which, I don't know why that is. I don't. I feel like it really doesn't need to be location-based. I can't think of any benefit you would get from it being location-based, but uh, in a SKU, I fixed that. So uh, by changing the category of sound from like ambient to music, because music will always play in both ears. I think that does have the side effect where if you turn off your music, your cave noises might also turn off. That's a, an issue that I'm okay with, if we're honest. It's more entertaining, especially the askew cave noises, because they, they deal with the stereo space quite a bit. There's one where it's, it's me whispering in one ear, hey, and then another one, hey, and then like they're very quiet for those two, and then, hey, but slightly offset in each ear. So it, it doesn't just sound like there's one person saying that to you, it sounds like there's two people saying it to you on each side of you. Which, 
has has gotten me a couple times. Oh, and also, since Bedrock plays cave noises a lot, I have some fake cave noises in the files too that are just complete silence. <laughs> when the sound event for cave noises happens, sometimes it'll just play silence. So that way there isn't just a cave noise every five seconds. That way I could compress every single audio file basically all at once. It still took my computer about an hour. To I was gonna say, I, I've also got uh, mob variations in Askew, which I didn't think was possible in Bedrock. Because uh, when I was a kid, I loved playing with the uh, the Sfax Pure BD Craft. I don't know if y'all remember that. And I bought it on the marketplace for, for Bedrock. And I remember the Optifine version having different colors of creepers and stuff, but when I downloaded the, the Bedrock edition, it didn't have them. So I figured, oh shit. So you just can't do mod variations, but you can. So the, the same ones that are in Java Edition are in the Bedrock Edition, which is is cool. And another thing that you can do in, um, in Bedrock that you can't do in Java, you can actually vary the size of mobs too. I went in with the expectation like, oh shit, I'm gonna make a fucking huge Enderman. It's gonna be terrifying. I forgot the size change goes both ways. So yeah, you can get a huge, terrifying, hulking Enderman, but you can also get a little Itty bitty tiny one. Yeah, the spiders in um in Bedrock look slightly different too. The uh I couldn't figure out how to rotate cubes, <laughs> which is how I did the legs for the original ones. Instead of there being just two cubes that are elongated and uh and rotated, these are actually uh these are our pixels that are, oh he forgot. These are pixels that are uh made to look like legs instead. They got a. They have a unique design. I actually kind of don't like it that much. Now that I'm looking at it. I mean, I love it. You should download my pack. Buy it for eighteen dollars. <laughs> go with emeralds. We'll go with emeralds. I like emeralds. It's my favorite. <gasps> There's an ender. There's a small one. Small Enderman. Small Enderman. I have to talk to him. Small Enderman. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Afternoon, sir. No, come back! Oh, there's uh, emeralds. Which are secretly diamonds. Uh, I'm really surprised that um, converting this world hasn't broken it. Special shout outs to the Hive team. Because the Hive team is how... Uh, <gasps> some of the, the death messages are slightly different in Bedrock because I have, to, I have to rewrite them. The language files for Java and Bedrock are different. So you get slightly different jokes. In, in both versions. And this one is Judas Rots. Which, uh... Th there are a lot of Bible references in Askew. And it wasn't something that I was doing consciously. Just, like... You're in hell. And that's pretty, pretty Bible-y. <laughs> if you want to read further into it, be my guest. Which brain is creative and which one is smart? Whichever one is the creative one. I'm... I'm Hello. Fuck off. Cool bedrock moment. We're fucked. We're fucked. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, no, I tried to jump to safety. God damn it. Leave me alone. 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 Uh, another thing uh, worth noting that's way different about Bedrock uh, than Java is the frequency of music. Music happens so often in Bedrock, and a cool feature that Bedrock has that, um, that Java doesn't is you can actually change how frequently music happens, which is so cool. You can you can put like a minimum amount of time in between songs and a maximum, which that's a really cool feature that I, I really do wish Java had. Uh, I've seen a lot of misinformation about this too. Whenever you look up how often does music play in Minecraft, Google will tell you as like its autocomplete thing. Say like, oh, it, it, music happens uh, every time that it's noon uh, or, or, or daybreak or night, which let's do some, some quick math here. A, a Minecraft day is 10 minutes, right? You, you get to sunrise at minute one or minute zero and you get the sunset at, uh, at minute 10. I, I believe, if I'm wrong about that. Tell me with, the, with an ax. There are so many songs that are like five minutes. If it happens at daybreak, noon, and night, music would play over top of each other. That doesn't work. 
it, certainly what happens, which I haven't analyzed the actual code for this, uh, for Java Edition at least, is it plays a song, then it detects when the song has ended, and then it says, all right, wait 10 to 20 minutes, and then it plays another one. It, it is certainly not happening at like a set schedule like that. I'm sorry to, to scream at you and, and ch chew your head off, but someone has to tell you. Someone has to has to tell you to the, the, the real hard truths of life. Someone has to tell you when you grow up and become a, a, a big fellow in the world, you have to learn there's no such thing as C418. <laughs> and when they're advertising, like Minecraft features, they never ever play C418 music. They play the new music because they, they don't have the rights to it. But I have noticed, and this was pointed out to me by uh, Cheap the Peanut, which uh, is, a, is a fellow who, who followed the Askew SoundCloud before Askew came out, which was very, very kind of them. They, they pointed out that they're actually using the Minecraft motif, which Minecraft does have a motif, which was created by C418. It plays in the, the, the new videos, the bum, 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 bum. That is the Minecraft motif. I never noticed as a kid that that was Minecraft's motif, but it is, and it shows up in, in multiple songs. I promise, if you, you go through, listen to Minecraft soundtrack again with, uh, with that motif in mind, you'll find some, you'll find some treasures. Because this, this Basalt Delta goes on forever. Like, we're not going to see another biome for like 60 minutes. Oh, look, another biome. What is happening here? A straight cutoff here. Hmm. I did just say, like, Oh, nothing's broken. That's so cool. Oh, what? That's awesome. And, uh, uh, look what you've done. Damn you, Hive MC. My brain is curious if the motif would j would be pr protected by copyright because I'm 99% that EG chord progressions are... Yeah, you're right. Uh, I do think so. Music copyright gets, gets complex really fast. Because you're right. You cannot copyright chords. There are only so many notes. <laughs> you can't... I mean, you can make new notes, but if you want something to sound nice, then you will probably stay the, the standard notes. But Askew, uh, there's a couple songs where uh, they're in between notes, so you actually can't play certain Askew songs on the piano unless you fuck with your piano a bunch. You can copyright melodies. You absolutely can copyright melodies, that's for sure. That's why there was that whole legal issue with Undertale Yellow. I don't know if you saw anything about that, but when Undertale Yellow came out, it used motifs from standard Undertale and uh, the record label, it's over. The record label that distributed the Undertale music without Toby Fox's permission was like, this, you can't do this, uh-uh, take it back. And so they took down like the Undertale Yellow soundtrack or something, uh, but Toby Fox stepped in and, and fixed all that stuff. Who is, is that, that motif is, is pretty, pretty basic. It's pretty, it's pretty bare bones. Yeah, uh, that motif is bum 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 it's four notes which you know once again there's only so many notes there's only like 12 notes in an octave you could certainly make a case that owning uh that melody wouldn't be fair but i do believe that they they are c418 has knowledge that they're using the motif. Even if they're not paying him every time they use it, I think that he has to at least have no. But this is speculation, because I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if I were to be super optimistic, which this is optimism that uh, is unfounded and undeserved, it could mean that uh, Microsoft, or that Mo Yang and C418 are, are pals again might mean that that third album that he's been talking about might get put out. Which, if that happens, that'd be really cool. Fuck! He came at me so fast. I mean... Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You'll have to forgive me for not remembering all the names of all the, uh, the Minecraft songs. Because I also tried to detoxify myself from Minecraft music while making a skew. Because I didn't want it to be too similar. If I just made more Minecraft music, it'd be kind of boring. It'd be kind of boring. Because we have Minecraft music, and it's great, it's iconic, and we love it. 
but no matter what, no matter how much I studied and, and how hard I tried to get exactly C418 style, it wouldn't capture the same magic because it's not the same song. It, I could never ever in a million years make a song that would make you feel the same way you did when you played Minecraft as a child. It's, it's not possible. So I didn't try to. I, I, I went and I, I watched some interviews with C418 and I did stuff that he specifically said he does not do. Um, like drums, you know? There, there's some percussion in some of the, the music discs and in some of the creative songs, but you know, regular Minecraft music doesn't have drums. And Askew uses drums pretty frequently. And he also said, specifically in the, oh, I don't remember which interview it was, but he said that he, he didn't want to do like the, the sweeping or, or like Disney orchestral stuff. So I, I did that in, uh, in machine translation, which is, uh, that's, that's one of my favorite ones. So uh, I'm, I, I like the direction that I went with for Askew. I very specifically chose not to be C418 Jr. Uh, or Lena Rain Jr. or anything like that. Uh, the song that we just heard, Argon, is specifically trying to emulate um, the Lena Rain style. Or the Lena Rain Kumitanioka. Uh, more so Lena Rain. Uh, Kumitanioka is, uh, is really nice. It's very. It's kind of a little bit jazzy. It uses some some really interesting chords that uh, I, I would never come up with. But uh, Argon is made to sound more like uh, music from 1.18. That's why it's called Argon, because Argon is the 18th element. So, here's a, here's a funny tale. I have been talking for so long and so excitedly that my blood sugar is low. <laughs> so I'm going I'm gonna put us on the title screen once again and I'm gonna go get uh, a, a low blood sugar snack. This is not a joke. I really it, well okay it's worth noting I'm type 1 diabetic so this isn't like I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not being a baby about this. It, it really is important that I go and, uh, and 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 fix this stuff. So I'm gonna leave you on the title screen. I'm going to go grab a snack. I'm gonna keep my, my mic and my camera on. So just listen to, to some askew music for a moment, and I'll, I'll be back. For, if there's a lot of negatives for being type 1 diabetic. You could die in your sleep <laughs> if you miscalculate something. But every now and then, you get to eat some cookies for a medical reason, so that's fine. And now um, I'm going to eat four Publix chocolate chip cookies in silence without talking. I look over here. So since copper replaces diamonds, I've got this, which is tungsten. And that's because my anonymous friend, who mood, asked me to make tungsten armor, and I didn't do it because I didn't think it would be different enough from iron armor. And it also has the uh, the differing shades, but it goes from like white to black. I can show that later. I've almost been streaming for two hours. Damn, I I didn't. I I don't know. I I lose I lose track when I'm talking about stuff that I'm. I'm really excited about. I hope people can tell that uh, this wasn't something that was made out of uh, greed, I guess. Because I, 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 I'm, I, I keep talking about how I want to sell it, and it's I, I do. I, I want to sell it because I, I worked hard on it. But this is this was not a product of like of greed. Like I said, it, it's a it's certainly a passion project. I, I I loved making this. I know that if if as a kid that that same kid who played with that uh, that shitty neon pack that he made. If if I showed that kid this pack, he, he wouldn't shut up about it ever. He would talk about it for fucking ages. He would be so much more annoying. <laughs> I was I was already annoying. The friend who introduced me to Minecraft was the first friend I had ever made in my entire life. I was in fourth grade, the first time I ever made a friend. Because I, I didn't understand. I, 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 I watched the, the kids who did have friends, and I, I watched what they did, and I just sort of started copying them, to because I, I, didn't, I didn't speak right. I don't know what I didn't do right, but I didn't do it right. And I don't know if it's because that friend just was also different, because 
He was also different. He, <laughs> he was he was very into internet culture, which I I didn't have the internet at the time. So I was a I, I was an internet kid without internet. So I meant what what what, what was I? <gasps> Small Enderman. I knew you would return, Mr. Shrimp. Good afternoon. Oh hey look, there's copper, which is not truly copper. It is. It is this is the most excited anyone's ever gonna be to find copper, because this is not copper. Remember getting made fun of in school for playing Minecraft? I do. I remember it very vividly. And now, like in current day, in like 2024, it, everyone loves it. it. They're like, oh, I've always loved Minecraft. Minecraft is so awesome. I put Minecraft music in my in my video. I put hearts in, in my lower in my lower left. It is funny Minecraft video. You understand Minecraft. I understand it too. Why? That's not nice. Why did they why did they make fun of me? And now they're like, oh, it's cool. I've always liked Minecraft. I can't guarantee it's the same people. But I, I feel strongly that it, it is it is the same people. So I wanna show you over here they have a, a big like copper structure it's pretty uh, it's it's all black and, and gray which is i think it, it works pretty well for for most builds uh <laughs> this is broken because it it didn't it doesn't know how to do the uh the animation for it so it's just all of the animation files stacked on top of each other but that will get fixed i promise return to sender is impossible in bedrock let's just make that clear return to sender you can't do it you can you can hit it back, but the things are too fast. I guess that would be more interesting if I talked about the origins of some of the music stuff. But also that might be boring, because a lot of it's not not that crazy. Just stuff that I like, taking stuff from it and then applying it myself. Because I don't I don't know anything about music. <laughs> I I don't I don't know music theory. Um, I've never. I don't. I, I've I've played one instrument and it was trumpet, but uh, even then I can't read sheet music anymore because it's been so long since I've done it. I did it in middle school band, so I don't I don't know how to read sheet music. So I I really am uh, completely and totally a, a phony, a fraud, because uh, I'm my musicianship is all it's all just me guessing. You, you know the infinite monkey theorem. That's what my music is, is me tapping away on FL Studio and hoping that what I make sounds good. And uh, obviously I, I'll, I'll, I observe from music that I like to, to do it first. I'd also like to point out that I came up with the breeze design before Mo Yang. It's not sure. But I, I came up with the uh, the spinning plates on the uh, on the, the blazes uh, before Mojang talked about the breeze. Uh, I just I didn't put out a skew in time to, to prove it. There's a lot of stuff that I did before other people and I, I'm I kinda wish I I talked about a skew before like putting it hundred percent done. Uh, like I did armor trims before Mo Yang 2. Uh, I'm sure there's video footage of it somewhere. Um, but I, I did a bunch of the... I did a bunch of test streams with uh, with my pals playing Minecraft. And I don't think those are public publicly available anymore. But uh, I did do them. And uh, they were they were pretty fun. Uh, another thing that I did before before other people was, sh was uh, custom shields through renaming. Um... At least I was the first person to... I I, hmm, I, uh, I discovered it on my own. I discovered it on my own, how to do it. Um, and then, like, I was so ready because Skew was going to be the first one to have custom shields because other, other um, Optifine compatible packs have had, uh, like, custom armor and whatnot, like Better Vanilla, be, 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 Better Vanilla Building. That one has uh, custom armors uh, a lot more than Skew, actually. I was like, well, I'm gonna, I'm at least gonna beat them to, uh, to, to custom shields. But then he started putting out custom shields. So I went, fuck. And I th then later found out that someone had figured it out way earlier than me. So I wasn't gonna be the first one. The, uh, the cursor 
in the in the UI is uh, is traced over from Minecraft Dungeons, but with, given the uh, the blue askew color palette. It's another one, it's another one of those things where I don't know why. I just, I just thought it was it was silly, so I did it. If we get that song again, we're uh, we're ending it here. That's one of the flaws. Ugh. One of the flaws with with having the music play so frequently is it's just gonna get a lot of the same song over and over again, especially in the Nether. I would love to see someone make like another skew, a, 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 a like a full pack that changes absolutely everything. It would probably need to be a team, cause I I, I it was very. Stupid of me to dedicate all my time to this. Very stupid. Very stupid. I, uh... I worked for, uh... KFC for a while with, uh, with my girlfriend Marissa. And, uh, that was, that was my income for a bit. And then I started going to college. And so I, I quit my job at KFC so I could focus on education. And then, uh, I couldn't get that job back. They just decided they didn't want me anymore. Well, they, it's not that they decided. My girlfriend became a manager there. So it became difficult for them to take me back there. And I've applied to, to many a place, and they haven't taken me. So I've sort of just let this be my full-time thing. Which is another reason why. If, 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 if this comes out, please go buy it. <laughs> or go to, the, go to the Ko-Fi or something. Fuck, I knew it. Oh no. He totally just blew up my, my bed, huh? Yeah, totally, 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 yeah. My chest. My chest. Oh my god. It's- oh no! Oh shit. Do I have enough time even to get all of it? Where's the chest? Where's the chest? Oh, okay. Got the chest instantly. Okay, I just have to to get it into here within the allotted amount of time. No. Oh, now I do. <gasps> no, I don't. Come here. Okay. We're cool. We did it. Woo. Well, so here's the progress we made on the house today. Get ready. I'm gonna do the big reveal. I'm gonna do the big reveal. In three, two, one. What? That's crazy! Oh my god! There's there's no way. That is so cool. Oh wow! Good job. So let's let's put our stuff in the chest, and then I will. Head out. Uh, I can't think of anything else I want to show with the be Bedrock Edition. There's a lot of small uh, differences. I was going to say nothing too crazy, but I could be wrong, so I don't want to say that. Everything too crazy. There's so much I haven't shown you. There is a bit I haven't shown you. Yeah, let's wander for a bit. So we hit the three hour. I'll talk about Gloober, which we haven't seen yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see him again tomorrow. Gloober is a little, little creature in the Java Edition if you rename your dog to Gloober. Uh, get a you get a little little 2D uh, weird looking looking thing. Before I worked at KFC, I was like 17. My first job was at a Montessori school, which a Montessori school is it's like a regular school, but there's a couple grades put in the same classroom. The the kids have a set list of things to to to, to do that day, right? And when they're finished with all the things that, to do that day, they can uh, they can play. It's the end of the day, and uh, the, the main teacher for the class has gone home. And uh, so, me being the teacher's aide, uh, I stayed afterwards for like the, the like impromptu aftercare, basically. We had a bunch of blocks and like Uno and stuff, and uh, the kids would all draw. And uh, we were learning about addition that particular day. And so, uh, one of the little girls, she came up to, to the desk. She's like, can you draw me 
a cat, a dog, and a hamster. They, they knew that I was I was a drawer. I was like, you know what? I will I will do something better. We're gonna. You, you remember what a sum is? She's like, yes. Uh, it's when you add. So like, yeah. So I'm gonna make the sum of all three of those. And so I really quickly and shittily I drew Gloober and I made sure that he was very easy to replicate. It was a very easy thing to draw because all the kids were gonna try drawing it immediately afterwards. And I was 100% correct. The, the kids immediately started drawing Gloobers and like there was one kid who got really good at drawing Gloobers. The other kids would ask that one kid to draw Gloober on their paper and stuff. So uh, somewhere I have a sticky note where I drew Gloober. And, uh, and, and the kids really liked it, which which was fun. And so I, I just put him in a skew, because also my friends liked Gloober. I I showed them the, the sticky notes, and, and they thought Gloober was real fun. So, yeah, that's the that's the tale of how Gloob came about. Hello! Hello! My hair is, is fucked up. Why do I look like that? Hello, my name is Christoph Pikes. I'm the guy you just watched two hours of. You might have noticed I talked about streaming tomorrow. It is now, um, like, two weeks after I did that. Cause I caught COVID! So that's fun. To celebrate, we're gonna turn this into an opportunity. It's not, it's not a bad thing, it's an opportunity. There is genuinely so much I didn't cover. There's so much. I'm actually angry. <laughs> it's true. I am angry at how much I didn't cover. So, if you have some specific questions, please let me know. I would, I would love, like, I, I would love to talk. Of course I would. I yapped for like six actual hours. This has been cut down significantly. So, you know, there are no stupid questions and I, I love to yap. Reminder, a SKU for Java is available on a bunch of crap. Planet Minecraft, Curse Forge, Modern, that stuff, you understand. And thank you so much for watching all the way through. Like genuinely, I know every creator says thank you. I guess every creator could also say, but I mean it, I mean it genuinely, but I do. This is, this is such a huge passion project that I've had a, a blast making. And uh, uh, the fact that anyone can listen to my voice for two hours talking about a, a resource pack for Minecraft. Block game, game, game of blocks. That's so cool. That's so cool. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Genuinely. Thank you from the- even further than the bottom of my heart. This is going on for too long. I've been recording this for 10 minutes, so. Damn, dude. Someone- someone- someone need- <laughs> This guy needs to be reined in. <laughs> Thank you again, and I'll, I'll see you when I see you. And then what do I do? Do I blur my end card? Does anyone know how to blur an end card? Should I walk around? I'm gonna walk around for, during my blurred end con. No one can see what I'm doing. They can guess, but they'll never know.